Hey YouTube, how's it going? I've got my hydraulic unit here that we need to make portable. I have the Honda motor on it. It means that this thing is just going to be 10 times more usable as far as where I can use it. So I can use it here in the shed for the sawmill, bring it outside, use it for the wood splitter, whatever, you name it. Uh, it's got four different um, what you, hydraulic circuits on it, whatever you want to call it. So, you know, if we want to add things to the wood splitter and make, uh, you know, a way to lift logs, etc., it has the capability to do that. And, but since it's not attached to anything, it means that I can kind of use it for whatever. So this has been the idea around this whole unit. Um, really since I got it, I just never quite got there because I had the electric motor and I hadn't made the commitment yet to take this motor off the sawmill and put a different one on it. So here we are. So here's the deal. This thing is portable down here. There's a spot where you could put forks through it and lift it but unfortunately I don't have something with forks on it so I have to make it where I can lift it with a chain from up here I'm gonna try and find the center of here which since I have no idea where the center of weight is I'm just gonna guess that the center of this thing is approximately the center of weight because of all the random things that are on top of here and then extend that up and kind of come around here and be able to lift it from wherever that center ends up here put some kind of a uh, loop or whatever and we can hook onto that with the chain with the gantry hoist uh, which I got right over here that gantry or with the tractor about center. is my wood splitter which I have actually had on YouTube one time before but that was on a previous channel um, homemade job it is nice and high 
So once you're working on it, it's pretty comfortable to work on and move logs, not like those low things that you uh, buy typically that we have to work on the ground all the time. I don't like that, not for a tall guy. Anywho, um, probably the weak part of this is that this could actually be angled a little, little bit more. I made this when I did not have a milling machine yet. And so obviously I would do it a little bit different now, but let's uh, see if this thing splits a log again. You can see I've already done a couple practice shots here. Mm -hmm. 